What's going on everybody? Today we're going to walk you through step by step how to buy Dogecoin on the Uphold platform. Let's get right into this. So first off, you need to make it over to Uphold.com. You can see up here in my search bar, Uphold.com. It's got the lock. It's a secured website. So once you're here on the homepage of Uphold, I am on a laptop. If you're on the computer here, you will go up to your right hand side where it either says login or sign up depending on if you have an account or not. I have an account that I made for these videos, so I'm already logged in. I'm gonna click over here to my Uphold wallet. If you don't have an account, hit sign up, go through the steps, confirm your email, set up your two-step Google authentication, and it's pretty quick, and Apple does a great job at walking you through the steps to get your account set up properly. So I'm going to click over here to my wallet since I already have an account. And this is what the new layout will look like once you log in and have your account created. This is what it looks like on the desktop on a computer. So you have three sections here. Your left-hand side will be your markets, whether it's cryptos, equities. In the center will be your total balance. So this will show how much money is in your account and which holdings are in your account as well. Moving over to the third tier to the right-hand side, this is where your, your transactions will take place. So starting from the top here, it says from. So this is where Uphold needs to know where are these funds coming from to exchange to either another currency or a, another crypto. So we'll click this drop down menu. And you can see I don't have any banking or credit or debit cards set up yet. So you'll have to do that before you can buy anything on Uphold. So it's pretty easy. If you want to connect a bank account, you'll click this plus sign here under the banks category, and it'll take you through the steps to connect your account to your Uphold brokerage account. You click the plus sign there, and then you search the list of banks. Then you'll log into your bank as you normally would. There's a couple different confirmations. You'll choose which account, and then you're all set. You can use your bank accounts, checking, savings, whatever kind of account you have to send funds into your Uphold account. The same process goes with the credit or debit cards. Although if you use this section, there is possibly some fees that your bank may charge you. You'll have to look into that, but as far as connecting a standard bank account, you should be fine. So jumping forward here, let's say you have your Uphold account created, your screen looks like mine, you connected some kind of a funding method, whether that be a bank or a credit card, you would click that bank. So let's say for example, you have a TD bank account connected. Right under here, it'll show that account and that account number. You'll click that, and then that window will close. And then you will choose the, the currency here. For me, it's US dollars. For you, it may be something else. But there is a vast list here of currencies to choose from. So please choose which one fits your situation. Once you have that set up, now you're ready to choose what you want to do. For this example, we are going to buy Dogecoin. 
So we can search right up here. Now we're in banks in the green. We'll go over to cryptocurrencies and we'll search for Dogecoin. And there it is. You can see it pops right up. So we'll just click that. And now we are ready to type in how much Dogecoin we want, or we could actually type in how much US dollars we want, and that'll tell us how much Dogecoin we can get for that amount of money. So let's say you want 1,000 Dogecoin. And for some reason, it's not showing the Dogecoin price right here. But if we look over to our first tier, our left-hand side, up here at the market section, we can see Dogecoin is trading on uphold for 18 cents. So it'll be the 1,000 shares we want times the 18 cents, and that'll give you how much, for this example, US dollars that would cost. Then you would hit preview. Once you have double checked these three sections, where the funds are coming from, the correct currency, and then how many shares you want, hit preview, hit confirm. The order will go through. And then in the center here, it'll show the transaction that took place, your balance, and um, the 1,000 shares held of Dogecoin. We also have limit orders in Uphold. You can trade on your own terms. Limit orders allow you to buy and sell assets at your desired target price. Sell at your target price. A sell limit order will be automatically executed at the price you choose or higher. You can also buy at your target price. A buy limit order will automatically will be automatically executed at the price you choose or lower. And then you decide how long the order will be in the market. Choose how long you want to keep your limit order open and cancel at any time. So if a limit order fits your situation better than perhaps just a standard market order, then you would click up here in the limit section. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Just make sure that you get your correct banking set up. You're in the correct currency. You're buying the correct cryptocurrency or whatever other asset it is that you choose. Double check hit preview, confirm, and right in the center here, you will see that you own, for this example, 1,000 Dogecoin or whatever it is you choose to buy on your Uphold account. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this video. What is your experience with Uphold? I will leave links down below for Uphold and also our Micro Futures trading patreon page and you guys can check them out if you like all right take care and i'll see you in the next video